silent at this hour. It is my responsibility to speak up, to expose corruption in any form. More importantly, especially folks who think they are wiser than the average Gambian. That said, there is a new mafia in Gambia. You remember the famous Banyul Mafia during President Jawara's regime? During Yaya Jame's regime? They are back in this new administration. They are working very hard to impoverish Gambians. They are working very hard to make Gambians suffer. If Gambians fail to act now, I feel sorry for our country. The younger generation will be impoverished for the rest of their lives. Now let's get into the nitty gritty of my memo. The former Gambian ambassador to Washington DC, Sir Omar Fai, was not in my good books during the Kira Jamez rule. I was equally not in Fai's good books. This was likely due to my principal stance to expose a corrupt and murderous government that he had dearly supported. After the change of government back in December of 2016, Fai extended what he called a brotherly love to me and asked for a reconciliation, quote unquote. This was shortly after his appointment to head the Gambian consulate in Jeddah. I responded in the positive. A former Freedom Radio Gambia contributor, Alagi Salim Njai, facilitated reconciliation. Njai lives in Sweden. He had now relocated to Ireland due to work commitment. Fai told me that he was ready to reconcile with me and move on despite our past differences in political opinions and beliefs. I told him that I was merely doing my required journalistic job. I told him that I was merely doing my required journalistic job during Jamez era. That I never hated him. Recently, when I was hospitalized, fight to a Banjul native based in the United States, that it was sad for him to hear about my hospitalization. He also told the person that he spoke with that there were two people he hated most in the Gambia. My humble self, Pandirimbai, was among those he hated most. He said the second person was a relative of his. After our reconciliation, Fai told me in a subsequent conversation that he prayed for me during his pilgrimage in Mecca. A move I appreciated. We have been cool since then. For the record, Gambia, Omar Fai has never been my source. I'm going to repeat this one more time. For the record, Gambia, Omar Fai has never been my source. He has never supplied me any information during his employment with the Barak government. He had repeatedly appeared on Alagi Salu Njai's show on Freedom Radio Gambia. I have also interviewed him during his debacle with the SAG former protocol and welfare officer, Ibrahim Adiba. Communication as the next title of my memo. It was this past week that the newly appointed Defense Minister Omar Fai contacted me via a WhatsApp chat to draw my attention to one of my Freedom Radio letters show, Radio Recent Program Commentaries. In that program, I commented on air that Fai facilitated the release of the July protesters, Rapa Killer Ace and Co. That he allegedly met with the Justice Minister, Bad Tambedu, to discuss the pending criminal case. That shortly after his meeting with the with Bad Tambedu, excuse me, the charges filed against the accused protesters were substituted to a payable offense.
The previous offense brought against them was not a bailable offense by Gambian laws. That five visited the mile to prisons where he met the detainees and assured them that their release on bail was in the making. Fai has denied meeting back. He asked me to publish a correction of the commentary I made on air. I told him that I stand by my commentaries. I also asked him to send a rejoinder if he feels that what I said was erroneous. He never sends one. In other words, he never sent a rejoinder. Fai also told me that his visit to the mile to prison coincided with when IGP Mahmoud Job received information about the release of the 37 detainees. Sensitive communication, that's the next title of my memo. During our chat, Fai mistakenly sent me a communication that was intended for another person. After reading the message, I asked him if the message was meant for me or whether it was wrongly sent. He responded by saying that the message was meant for a cabinet colleague of his. He asked me to delete the message. Fai says the message was meant for Bai Lam and Job, works minister. I had already taken snapshot of the message for my records. It was meant for my Koto Bai Lamin, but I have no regrets you seeing it. Kindly delete Fai remand in a message sent to me. As journalists, we rely on information to perform our job. As the saying goes, journalists are like fishermen. What do you expect if a fisherman mistakenly, excuse me, what do you expect if a fish mistakenly enters a fisherman's fishing gears? That would be a field day for the fisherman. The fisherman will not dump the fish into the water. He will take it. I hope you understand where I am driving at. Fai's message interests me a lot in view of the following reasons. He earlier told me that he was in Saudi to hand over his previous office to his successor, Ibrahim Mbalo, an in-law of President Adam Abaro or Adam Abaro. His text message was sent to a cabinet colleague of his. His job per view is not within the foreign ministry. I'm going to repeat this one more time. It's an important statement. His text message was sent to a cabinet colleague of his, whose job per view is not within the foreign ministry. His cabinet colleague was recently accused of corruption. His name is Bail Lamin Job, the works minister. Job's office awarded the $35 million Banjo Road and Sweet project to one Hadim Gai without any formal public tender. Gai is an in-law to Alaji Usman Sisi, the chief of protocol at the State House. Sisi's sister is married to Gai. Sisi was recently indicted by the Ghana Commission for Corruption. The commission recommended that he should be fired and banned from working in government. Adam Abaro rejected the commission's findings against Sisi in his white paper statement. Are you following Gambia? I hope so. Fai's message to Bai Lam and Job reads as follows. Please be informed that I spoke to Ambassador Salah and we agreed that I sent a formal request through his office, which I already did, to speak for audience, to seek for audience, or to ask for audience, with the Defense Minister, Crown Prince, MBS. The, the acronym MBS is coming from me, so that the listeners can understand. With your advice, I can meet with anyone by your recommendation, or wait for your formal response, where I can travel with my peers and deputy peers if possible. I'm going to repeat this quote once again, Gambia. Fire's message to Bailam and Job reads as follows.
please be informed that I spoke to Ambassador Sala and we agreed that I sent a formal request through his office, which I already did, to ask for audience with the Defense Minister, Crown Prince, with your advice. I can meet with anyone by your recommendation or wait for a formal response where I can travel with my peers and deputy peers if possible. Upon reading the above message of five, I began to believe that there is a Sado Mafia government in Banjul. Under normal circumstances, Fai should have channeled his request to meet with the Saudi Crown Prince MBS to Foreign Minister Momodu Tangara or Adam Abaro. But this was not the case. He has decided to channel it through his Banjul native brother by Lamin Job. Tangara was completely sidelined. His ambassador Omar Oji Sala had approved Fai's request without consulting with the foreign ministry, more importantly, foreign minister Mamadou Tangara. It should be noted that the Bandul workers mafia are back in town. These were the same elements who misled former President Jawara and dictator Yaya Jame through their sheer greed and lack of love for country. Ambassador Oji Sala is a Banjul native. He was born and raised in Banjul. Omar Fai is a Banjul native. He was born and raised in Banjul. Bailam Job is a Banjul native. He was born and raised in Banjul. Aladi Usman Sise is a Banjul native. He was born and raised in Banjul. Mamburin Jaitu is a Banjul native. These are the folks working with Barrow to destroy our impoverished nation. The million dollar question is, who is Bailam and Job to okay Fai's request to meet with the Saudi prince? Your guess is as good as mine, champions. We should all try to figure out why. Meeting a Saudi killer. The Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman was recently linked to the murder of the Washington Post reporter. The reporter was killed at the Saudi Embassy in Turkey. Almost all civilized and democratic governments around the globe had condemned the reporter's murder. For Mr. Fahey to use his handling, so excuse me, for Mr. Fahey to use his handing over to meet with the Saudi Crown Prince speaks volume. Saudi Arabia is an economic diplomatic milking ground for poor nations like the Gambia. Over the years, millions of dollars of Saudi funds or aid meant for the poor West African nation had been stolen by our leaders. Dr. Jame posted his in-law Oyesala to Saudi Arabia to pursue his tea-free for him. Oji's daughter, Ali Masala, was married to Yaya Jami. Ali Abar also maintained the same Oji Sala following the change of government back in December of 2016. Baro has appointed his in-law, Ibrahim Ambaro, to head the Jida consulate. Connect the dots, Gambia. Do the mad, Gambia. Connect the dots, please. Defense Minister, who is not security minded, that's the other title of my memo. Defense Minister Omar Fai has proven to not to be security minded. Defense Minister Omar Fai has proven to be not security minded. The wrong message he sent to me had proven my assassin. He should safeguard his communications in view of the sensitivity and importance of the position he had been best taught to occupy. His communications should be channeled through secure government control networks unless he wants to be my source. Just kidding. On a more serious note, I deem it imperative to disclose this information to Gambians. 
when exposing a corrupt regime i don't want any corrupt friends opportunists and ask cases around me anyone helping the rocky thief to destroy poor gambia will not be spared get the message gambia i take my job very seriously we shall prevail over these bandits i rest my case gambia i'm your beloved son pandiri mbai in a minute we will translate what we read on air into the world of dialect